five hours of summer once a week. Hey, hey, hey. Five hours of summer one Saturday morning. Alright, it's time once again uh, for yet another episode of Color Commentary where we give you views from a different side. I am your host, of course, Rashad. I'm joined by my compadre. Chuck Taylor here. Make sure you like and subscribe when we all live. Faster, 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 faster. Okay, guys. All right, guys, of course, we're going to be talking about The Flash here, uh, the brand new movie from uh, the DCEU. Uh, Mr. Chuck Taylor, go ahead and take it. It was a great no, I'm fine. Um, I can't talk this fast. Sorry, y'all know, y'all know how I talk. I'm gonna try, but uh, I enjoyed the movie. Um, it was fun. Uh, it had a lot of a lot of cool um, scenes, a lot of cool cameos in it. Um, I, you know, I always forget people's names. What's the actor name? Edward Miller. <laughs> Edward Miller. I really enjoyed uh, him playing himself um, so differently. He did like play he himself. He played him. He's been definitely playing himself. He played, 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 played really good. Um, <laughs> I like how they added all the different multiverse type of things. Kind of, uh, I was talking to Rashad earlier. I said they kind of looked, they took a little bit of uh, Marvel's thought, but I guess he said the movie was supposed to come out a while ago before yeah. Marvel did all their multiverse stuff. But it was cool that they did talk about like um, how time works and it doesn't always like if you go back in time and change something it doesn't necessarily change your present and maybe make a, a branch timeline that changes that particular point of time so I thought that was kind of cool they how they use that um, I thought the my biggest the biggest thing I guess I really enjoyed was the was Batman Michael Keaton did his thing mm-hmm. he was he was he was every he was the best Batman again um he doesn't. It, I, I like I like Michael Keaton's Batman because he's he don't do all the the extra Batman stuff like talking all deep and trying to be all <laughs> mean and stuff. He's like I'm just Batman. I just take I'm care. Batman. Of I, I do my stuff. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Like, right. All the rest of them when they got to change their voice, they got to be all built looking. It's like it's like no. He just he just he's that dude. And he's, he's confident in who he is. He's a regular dude. <laughs> yeah, just a regular dude. And then like when he put on that suit, he just put in work. No matter how old his tech is, his tech goes out of date like 20, 30 years. He out there beating space ships and stuff to oblivion, knocking them into mountains and everything. I'm like, okay, Michael Keaton. So once he got on screen, it definitely uh, went up for me. Um, I appreciate you saying that because a lot of people feel that way with Michael Keaton being the, like the best Batman. And I, yeah. I've never felt that way. You know, I grew up, I mean, I was watching those movies and I was never the biggest fan about that so it's, it's curious i'm just I'm, it's nice for me to hear you talk about that so i can uh, kind of get an understanding of why people like him as batman so much yeah i mean i just think he's i don't know he's just so genuine with being batman the other ones seem they have to put on so much they gotta act so hard like i'm just gotta act hard the entire that's what batman is he's hard like he's not that hard cartoon like he got some personality guys like <laughs> he enjoys right. He ain't just like mean Bruce Wayne. Don't say nothing all the time. Uh-huh. Uh, but that's been uh, Batman. Uh, Christian Bale Batman was, wasn't mean. I mean, I mean, uh, Bruce Wayne wasn't mean. He wasn't mean, but the voice thing kind of always kind of got. Oh, I'm Batman. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like roaring at everybody. We know you. Yeah. I'm like, dude, chill. Is your voice okay? Get some water. Get some lemon, some lime. Batman. Like so, and his lips, his lips. Oh, he's, I'm bad. Are <laughs> you? Are you? Are you thinking about him or, or bad, bad man? <laughs> no, no. He, he did an extra, extra, extra on him, but that joke was funny with him too. <laughs> but no, back to back to Flash. Um, when they brought Super, when they went and got Supergirl, um, I was I was like, okay, so I, they definitely took that from Flashpoint when they found Superman. They had him in the underground bunkers and stuff, and he was all skinny. And uh, I'm glad they filled her out because I didn't want her to be looking like that when she, because <laughs> 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 on the on the Flashpoint he stayed skinny. Like just got the sun hit him, it made him stronger, but he looked the same, like right. skinny, barely nourished Superman. Like, yeah. Malnourished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, malnourished. 
Like, please give her her body back. I'm like, okay. She's she's like, good but okay. he needs like, some milk. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Um, so once they kind of got got into it, and they was they was fighting the uh, um, Zod and his crew. Like, I, I enjoyed that part. I just, I guess, I was always wondering. I was like, well, the Flash, you can just go all the way back and just run up and just electrocute somebody and blow them up in pieces why don't you just do that like you can probably end this fight pretty fast you don't need to go back in time you can literally just go take out Zod right when you get there mm-hmm. just run up to him stop and shoot him with a lightning bolt right and it's over well you said you, you, know, you saw that he's through his body and then turned solid like we all know you can do that you did that the phasing all, that was kind of cool how they did the phasing though when they showed his molecules phasing through the atoms and they said when he shook and he, how he went through the wall, I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna see how they come back to normal. Bro, you just done it. You just done it. Remember when we, it was something that we were talking about. And we talked about how Captain Marvel could have just taken the glove in the uh, Infinity War, like in the middle of it, not at the end. I mean, uh, 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 end game and like ended the mm-hmm. whole battle. And we was like, darn, they could have done that. You just did it again because I was just about to say like, oh, in the Chrono Bowl, you can see like every time he tried to attack the Kryptonians for whatever reason, uh, Zod was just fast enough to grab him and stab him. That's why he gets stabbed fifty-seven times. But yeah, he could have just phased. He could have fa- he could have just picked up a, pick, a piece of their crypt- their their you know metal because that stuff is mm-hmm. they can't deal with that. That's basically Kryptonite, I guess. And he could phase through him and then just leave that inside of him. And he's dead, and there's nothing that they could do about it. Nothing. So this mother has been running about, running around in the Chrono Bowl, <laughs> just destroying stuff. <laughs> and like, <he> just, <sighs> that's, that's what I always get with with. I'm like, who writes Flash? Like, to me, if you can just do this, like, you should be able to beat anything, right? Anything. Yeah. Even Superman, you should be able to beat him. He has atoms too. You right. can just phase right in his atoms and take his heart out. <laughs> just take that heart right on out of there, and he's right. dead. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so fast. Like, no, you're you can do literally anything. When you saw him take his atoms and phase through the wall like that, you knew he literally could do anything he wanted. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because I mean, there's a whole X Men character that's her one power, and she's she's pretty beast. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. You know, so yeah, if he can do that at super speed, yeah, you're right. Dang. No, all he needs is some candy bars. So, <laughs> but let me let me speed my because I let you go. Um, the parts I didn't really care for uh, were the CGI was horrible. They really threw me off on some of the parts of the movie. Uh, the baby scene was fun, but then it started to get kind of like, okay, this is getting a little because they were so it was so bad of CGI. I, mean, I know they're not going to use real babies, but it was just like this is like <laughs> 2004 CGI, bro. This was like old Spider Man movie CGI's. I'm like, dang, DC, can y'all do a little bit better? I mean, I know people went on strike and stuff, but I'm like, did the y'all can't just pay these people a little better so they can just make this look like a video game at least the writers went on strike not to see job yeah that was like the, the writers were on strike i mean you had the script already so you was good on that it was the uh, the uh, <laughs> visual effects people bruh i don't know what they were trying to tell y'all on this one they went the cheap route so i was like you know what we're gonna i know my cousin he does it so we can him do it half off you know he's gonna be just as good as all the, the what they trying to get us i know i, I know See, that's what they were the way hey i know a guy <laughs> I know a guy. Don't worry, I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got you. He's 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 a tenth of the cost. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do that. And then they look at it like, oh, that's what we got. Yeah, baby, we got the <sighs> movie out next month too. Hey, we can't change it. Nah, no reshoots, nah, bro. You get this is what it is. Bro, yeah. if I had the dude at the end of Ant Man, he was like, you know, okay, so my cousin was talking to to my friend. He does CGI. He knows computer. He just got his degree. He can come in. <laughs> mhm. They gotta pay him nothing. Right. <laughs> so but but um but yeah that that was probably the biggest thing and I kinda wanted them to have the reverse flash 
Like, I wanted him an actual villain. Like, I understand it did it himself, but maybe that made himself be the reverse Flash. Like, he actually had to go kill his mom or something. I don't know. Something a little more of Flashpoint. Because Flashpoint, the actual cartoon movie, was just, like, epic. Like, when I saw that one, I was like, this is awesome. Y'all just need to just do this. Just do this. Just we'll do that. Have- uh, everybody, like, I'm a writer. I get paid all the money, so I'm just gonna recreate and make it my own. And, you know, we saw, we see what's happening. Yes. I'm getting sixty million this first weekend, so we'll see how it do. Yes, but yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's my my little uh, thoughts on it, Sarah. What about you? I'm gonna say just like uh, I felt like with uh, Rise of the Beast. Oh, uh, this movie was pretty good. Uh, it just wasn't great. Um, But there were some things I definitely liked about it. And this time I actually can remember what those things are. And like you said, this was that. No, I was saying what you can remember. Oh, yes, I can remember. Um, Like you said, uh, Ezra Miller, uh, I think he did a fantastic job playing um, both of the flashes. You know, you definitely see the him being two different characters. Like it was really good. It reminded me of uh, Oscar. uh, Shoot, that's not Oscar, right? What's the dude's name? Whatever Oscar he is, you know, playing Moon Knight. When he was playing, you know, you played those characters oh, so yeah, well yeah, that you yeah, definitely yeah, thought they were about. two different mm-hmm. people. You know, Os- Oscar yeah. Isaac. You know, but in this situation, yeah, I felt the same thing. However, I will tell you, I do not like the casting of Ezra Miller as the Flash in general. Like, like I felt he did a good job of playing both versions, but I still don't like him as the Flash. He's just, I'm tired of the <laughs> that bouncing type of energy and how he runs and they made his run a little bit better but now when he keeps you know he's putting his fingers in front of his face like that Mm -hmm. what is that about stop (laughs) stop doing that just yeah yeah. yeah. watch the flash tv show and just do that that's the that's the problem with this movie there's so many things that they could just draw from they could have just literally just taken them and just put them in this movie just okay run like the flash tv show um, make the story like the Flashpoint movie called animated movie, and there you go. But anyway, I'm supposed to be talking about good stuff. Um, they did get, they did, they did get the uh, costume better. Okay, okay. Oh, because the other one was like wiry and stuff, like yeah, right. wiry. He had a little old bike helmet looking like it's all pointy in the back. Like yeah, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> oh, I did love the uh, saving the babies part. That whole scene was was amazing. I really, really loved it. Particularly when he went up in the air and you saw him draw back and he pulled his two fingers back and said, okay, this mug's about to save everybody. And then he dove on the, uh, <laughs> the snack machine. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, huh? <laughs> that was great. And then, um, you know, he started saving the baby. So I like that for two reasons. Um, Number one, it really showed his capabilities as a superhero. Um, So he and Captain America and also Cyclops and X-Men, they have seemed to have the same uh, capability, which is spatial awareness. They can see what's going on around them and then be able to use that in order to figure out what they need to do. That's why Captain America can throw his shield and he can throw it and make it deflect everywhere he needs to and it'll hit somebody. Cyclops can do the same thing. He'll shoot one guy, but with his beam, he can shoot it at the right angle and make it hit everybody in the room. So it was cool that he could just see that and figure out exactly what he needs to, to do. Also, it was over the top. And initially I was like, okay, this is just ridiculous. Like they, the knives are falling, <laughs> fire is hitting the babies. This is some Final Destination stuff happening right now to all these things. <laughs> You know, but they didn't, they leaned into it. They didn't like, oh, do that. It was a little bit over the top and back away. Mm, they went all in. And I was like, okay, I, I see where you're going with that. So once I understood that that's where they were going, I got on board. Because if you have ever watched the original Superman movies, particularly the third one, that type of stuff happens. It's just like ridiculous over the top stuff happening. So like, okay, all right, I, I'm, I'm with it. Um, let me see here. And I like the Chrono Bowl. I like the effect of that, where he's in in that little amphitheater, like you said, uh, when we were talking in person. And I like how he could kind of see the different variations of, of what was going on around him. I think they did a really good job of portraying what that would look like. So there were definitely some things I liked. I also liked um, how Sasha Kaye looked playing Supergirl because um, during the um the previews that I saw, I don't know, maybe it was just her hair, 
to me, it looked like they were going for like the more uh, androgynous um, Supergirl. Like you could really tell if it was a girl or a guy. It's kind of like, you know, she'd have some tendencies or something like that, which is fine. But it's like, I just like the way that she looks better here. Like, okay, she looks more mm -hmm. feminine. She looks like Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. instead of super, I'm not sure. You know, um, <laughs> okay, super, not sure. let's see here. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna talk about the best Batman thing. Oh, I will talk about this though. <laughs> Me and Affleck and Batman, he needs some help, bro. I haven't heard anybody mention this. Oh, and I got an Easter egg for day for you that I I've heard nobody mention. But anyway, um. This mug was letting a lot of people die. Remember when that uh, oil carrier blew up? <laughs> yeah. He don't save nobody. <laughs> he don't save nobody. He, oh, no. His mission is only the bad guy. He's old. He's like, I don't care about them. They gonna die. Yeah. He let the whole building fall down. I'm like, you couldn't try to get this person like in a different environment. No, you gotta go under a hospital and try to get them. Right. Or you might shoot this machine off and then call Flash and go fix it. Right, like, exactly. You ain't, you ain't shit, Batman. You <laughs> kill all these newborn babies. And you know a lot of people died. It was more than them babies on that one little part of the building. Mm -hmm. So, like, what happened to all the other bodies? <laughs> they were just crushed. All you know, people under, like, under the building. When he was driving after the bad guys in the bike and they're shooting at him. And it's like he's just deflecting the bullet. I'm like, these bullets are going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they go yeah, random. Random families just jogging down the street, getting yeah. shot up. Yeah, exactly. It's like Batman, like go a different route, bro. Like don't like he should be saying, mm, "There's too much collateral damage. Got to go now." Nah. <laughs> he going in like he was trying, like he was straight, like he was in uh, Batman v Superman, except it's in broad daylight in the middle of traffic. <laughs> 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 bro, there's a scene I've never watched Teen Titans go, but I have seen memes of it. Uh, did you ever watch that show? Yes, I love that show. That show hilarious. There was this one scene where like Batman is chasing them and it's like they blow up the Batmobile and then they have a bat bike and then they blow up the bat bike and he's on roller skates and then they <laughs> blow up the roller skates and like he and, like Alfred he's riding on Alfred's back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that scene where he jumped over the air carrier, I was like, that's straight out of Teen Titans. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, bro. Now, nah, but I got some problems with this movie here. Um, number one, I felt like this movie, it failed to live up to what it could have been or what it set up. And yes, maybe it's not fair to compare it to Flashpoint, but it's like... Why not? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm listening to those ravens flying around uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm behind the wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Uh... Like the original Flashpoint, you like the whole. No, I mean it's the universe, yes, but the whole planet is at stake, and yes, the planet was at stake here. But they, I don't feel like they did a good job of portraying that. Like maybe they should have spent a little bit more time on the ship that was like destroying and terraforming the planet, you know, so you could really see this is major. Instead, they spent a lot of time on like twenty-something Kryptonians, you know, mm -hmm. that really were just basically guys with guns. They didn't really show a whole lot of now nah, these Kryptonians like. Once they start developing, once they start understanding how powerful they can be, they're about to be a real threat. Like they didn't really show that. They showed it with the one guy, but mm -hmm. they really didn't show that a lot. You know, so so the stakes to me weren't quite high enough. You know, you know, um, it just kind of it just kind of fell under its own weight to me. I kind of get tired of them high fiving and touching feet. <laughs> it was just. Go and do your thing. You ain't got to come back here and you know and touch base again. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I didn't really. I like the concept of of Dark Flash, but I didn't. I thought the execution of it was kind of dumb. Like he's just got more and more Kryptonian material slammed inside of his body. Yeah, so much. I don't care. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> What's happening here? Why? <laughs> Y'all definitely did miss some writers on that part. Like, that's yeah, you know yeah. That, that, that's when the strike happened. <laughs> right, right, right. They were trying to figure that part out. <laughs> and um, also, I think that they they did a good job of showing the gravity in the situation with Barry. 
having to decide um, to let his mom die in that situation. But we all know that that's not the end of that type of stuff. Dude, the best movie that has ever done that, at least in the superhero movies, is Spider-Man 2. Remember when um, Gwen Stacy was falling off the building and like mm-hmm. Spider-Man was like, I got her, don't worry. And he threw the, the webbing out and grabbed her and then you see her neck. And he's like, oh. And he was like, oh. And oh, then for yeah. the next, made next Spider-Man too. Yeah. Yeah. And like for the next five minutes, he was just like despondent. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you felt that in the audience. It's yeah. like, God dang. This mug just by by not uh, by not stopping that from happening, he basically killed his mom. Yeah. And yes, he did go back and save his his dad. That was good. But they, I felt like they could have sat on that emotion just for a few minutes instead of going straight to the George Clooney reveal and his tooth falling out. You know, you know what I mean? Like, so they had to write that movie over shot. Yeah, he yeah, was the one, he was, it was. They had a nice long moment. I don't know what you're talking about. That moment was, took forever. <laughs> they all walking all slow, and then they hugging. She hugging some strange. He need a hug. And he's just like <sighs> taking it all in. And he goes his little lightning thing. He started walking around looking. And he's like all sad looking at her. And put the man. That was a long time. It was. That was the time you need. It was. But he's good now. I guess he's good. Like guy. Right. He right. was good. He was just understanding. Okay, that I get it out of my system now. To let her go. Hmm. I guess I don't know. Hey, bro, I would I I, I would have been the Dark Flash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I guess he was the Dark Flash. <laughs> he tried that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of pounds. Yeah, too. His whole but, body turned into some metal, and he didn't die. This, okay, if they had maybe well, all they had to do was the two of them had to go back and talk to Bruce Wayne. Like, okay, listen, here's what's going on. But Bruce Wayne's smart. All right, th- listen. <laughs> We need a plan here, okay? And Bruce Wayne would have come up with the plan. He's like, Barry, can't you can't you run through things? <laughs> it's like it seems to be that that metal hurts them. So why don't you run through them and stab them with that? And yeah, <laughs> that would have been that. <laughs> Basically, like, yeah, he you does. Know, they definitely they don't need to give Batman powers, boy. Batman have powers just old for everybody. Everybody, everybody, yes, <laughs> everybody's getting it. <laughs> he'll figure out everything because you know Superman. He'll be paying attention to that. He just invincible, so he don't be caring about what he do. Like Batman would have had some whole plan devised in his head. What? Why he's going to hit this person here? And he's going to throw this throw this tree up in the air over here, and all this everybody's going to die in like a second because he's running <laughs> fast and flash and strongest you know Superman. So yes, yes, yeah. Take and uh, they did not uh, to wrap up my review here. Um, the whole George Clooney thing was a whole a whole mess. That was definitely this is what you, this movie was meant to end the DCEU and help with the transition into the next thing. And so they yeah. did a decent job of that up until the point that they brought in George Clooney. Now you're like, what? Well, what does that mean? They should have just let it be a reveal. Like they didn't show it. Like they just like show him get out of the car. Mm-hmm. And then maybe they have um what's the name's eyes get big like what? And then it goes off. But yeah. then they can they get enough time to cast the new Batman, whoever's gonna be it, and they can just put him in there. And then we can start the whole new thing over. So we know right. that okay, the thing changed because he saved his dad by making putting the, the tomatoes on the top shelf. Right. So he mm-hmm. made him look up. Mm-hmm. And it did cause something, a little butterfly effect. It didn't go kill everybody, but it made a little subtle change, and this is going to be a new Batman. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. But no, they had to go throw George Clooney on there for that. Like, why is he here? Now, are you he saying that one... because you you knew that was the original ending? Hmm? Are you saying that because you knew that was the original ending? That was? That was the original ending. It was just like that. They literally, when they did it for screenings, they literally, you could see his face, face, uh, feet. <laughs> and then Barry said, "Who the f- are you?" And then it went off. And why didn't they just keep it like that? <laughs> Who told? See, that's when they get too much time to figure something. Like I, that, that just sounds good to me. It's like that's perfect. Right, Everything's right. all swept under the rug. It's got a bow on it. It's nice. Got the Snyderverse. Everybody's stuff is all done up. We're ready right. for the new thing. But now they had to go f it all up. So now we're like, George Clooney's the new Batman. 
Right. His old ass. The writer's like, I'm I'm taking I'm going on strike and I'm taking that part that I just wrote with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the Easter egg. Here's the Easter egg that no I haven't heard. I've watched like three. I watched Rock Stars, Heavy Spoilers, whatever the other guy is that I watch. I haven't watched uh, uh Emergency Awesome. You don't watch him anymore, do you? Yeah, I do. Okay, because I hadn't seen him on our you, you must be looking at a different YouTube channel. Um Probably no. The the boy that Robin, I mean that uh, Flash saved. Remember, he said, "I can only save one one kid." Oh, on the terraforming one. Right, right. Okay. okay. So when he went into the alternate reality, um, you know, he couldn't save that kid because he was fighting the Kryptonians, and so the the dad was able to save the kid. And did you hear what he said? No. He said, "Robin, come on." Robin. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. Sure oh, did. Too bad that whole that whole timeline got wiped away, so no one cares yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. So George Clooney's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a kid. What kind of name is Robin? I'm right. A kid, no kid named Robin. <laughs> That's his nickname. <laughs> no Grace or so. Like whatever his actual name, you should have called him that, not Robin. Like no, yeah, yeah, Robin. You yeah, Batman? Well, you know, well. uh, I, I guess the, the writers are like, we well, can't say, come on, Dick. You know, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, Dick. <laughs> come on, Dick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. So anyway, so yeah, I thought it was good, but not great. So what's your, how many chucks on this one? Um, I kind of I stick with the seven. And okay. seven, seven, seven and a half is probably so in between that and that number it's right up there with transformers to me okay all right all right yeah i'll get you i'll, I'll give you that i'm gonna hit with 7.054 so yeah just just a bit <laughs> bit bigger better yeah. than transformers not great but still a pretty yeah. decent movie yeah yeah could and the whole aquaman thing at the end they should have just left it alone that was dumb what the world i was like why am I waiting here? Like, I'll just decide to do the dumbest stuff for one. Bro, I mean, they could have used that to move us into the Aquaman movie. Like, they could have been talking and talk about the threat that's coming up with Aquaman. We'd be like, ooh, Aquaman. Nah, the mother just falling asleep and do nothing but mess up his credibility. So, anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, what are y'all thoughts on this? Leave your thoughts here in uh, Facebook or on Spotify or on Chat GPT. Use that to create your thoughts. <laughs> oh, YouTube, wherever it is, go ahead and leave a comment here. Of course, you got to subscribe, subscribe to, to survive. survive. This is Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Peace. Saturday morning. Saturday.